it's going to go. The very thing, Nancy Mardia. The very thing. No, it won't do, so there's no use of trying it on, Fagin. And what exactly do you mean by that remark? What I say, Bill. Why, you're just the person for it. Nobody up that way knows anything about you. Yes, I don't want them to, neither. It's rather more of a no than a yes with me, Bill. She'll go, Fagin. No, she won't, Fagin. She won't, Fagin! Go on, get him. What did you tell him about us? Nothing! That man needs to be seen. However, if we find you said anything, anything out of place, Fagin all vision that young scoundrel told him everything. Help! Help! Stand back or I'll split your head against the wall! Oh, I don't care for that, Bill. This child shall be on unless you kill me first. I'll soon do that if you don't stand up! Go right! All right! Go ahead! What's the matter? The girl's got mad at me! No, she hasn't, Fagin. Don't think it. Then keep quiet, will you? No. I won't keep quiet! Oh, this violence. Right, 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 right. You! I won't stand by and see you that built! You got him here and what more would you have? Let him be. Let him be, or I will put my mark on somebody and not care for the consequence! Oh, hi, Nancy. You're wonderful today. Such talent. What an actress. Am I? Well, take care and don't overdo it then. Because I'm warning you, I'll put my finger on some of you and not care if I am with him! You! Do you know what you are? Who you are? Oh yes, I know all about it. Who I am. What I am. Then keep quiet and I'll quiet you for a good one, time to come. You're a nice of coming up all this humane and genteel rubbish. A pretty subject for a child, as you call him, to make a friend of. Help me, I am. And I wish I'd have been struck dead in the street before I lent a hand to bring him here. Because up to today, he's a thief and a liar and all is bad, but Mr. Morton should have left for you without beating him to death. Come, come. We must have civil words. Civil words. Civil words. Yes, well, you deserve them from me. Because I'll think for you when I was a child, I'd be saying, and all these years since, don't you forget it. Well, if you have, it's your living. Some living, some living! What you deserve, you can't! No getting or giving! Must be the murders yet! There'll be murders, there'll be terror, so Lord help me! No violence! What? Please no violence! Please no sin! No violence! Me. If you do it for me, I'm gonna make a Satan! It's a boy life! Boy life! No, we don't mind kicking the angels waiting. It's a fine life! Fine life! Fine life! I'm as you are, I want you. It has got a heart of gold. That's not a Sorry if anyone's been rude to you. May I help you in any way? I, I don't know. Can she be trusted? Yes, why? I'm the girl that took the law the back to old Fagans on the morning he left with the books. You? Me. And I wish I'd never been a part of it, but he spoke at you specially and I thought Where if I came to you. Speak of Fagans. Well that I can't tell you. Did you perhaps know that Oliver's probably my nephew? I don't know nothing. All I know is me orders. I, I had to bring him back or suffer for it. You don't believe me. What? I don't want your pity. I had to come, even though there are those who would murder me if they knew I'd been here. Murder? But where is Oliver? Where is this place Fagin's? I can't tell you. I just want you to know Oliver's safe. I must go back now. Yeah, well, wait, wait. What can I do about all this? Why must you go back? And what is the reason you cannot tell me where he is? Why must you go back to these people? I can call the police in a moment, and if they tell you what you told me, they will see to it that you come to no harm. Don't you understand? I 
want to go back. Oh, I need to go back. There's a man there, I just can't leave. I don't know what it's like to love a man like that. I understand. How can you help us? I'm anxious about all of it. I won't bring him here, that's too dangerous. Can you promise that you won't be watched or followed? Well, I promise you solemnly. Then tonight, between 11 and clock strikes 12, I will walk by London Bridge and I'll bring all of them. Dark night, my dear, but it's light enough. 